Two teens with weight problems take turns sitting, standing, lying down, playing video games, and running on a treadmill. And while they exercise or sit still, wireless sensors strapped across their chests track their heart rate, stress levels, and movements. The data routed to a cell phone. This is not your local boys and girls club. Um, I'm not a very big fan of exercising, but at times I'll do it. Just think I know that at the end I'm going to feel good about it. This is new wave research against obesity. In university labs across America, scientists and engineers are tinkering with wireless devices and then fitting them on the overweight to get an unbiased glimpse of their exercise and eating habits. The great thing about passive recording is it requires no effort on the part of the individual. And like a security camera, it doesn't lie. It sees everything you eat. And we know from prior studies that people tend to forget certain things in their food record. They forget the chocolates and the ice cream and the treats. This study, conducted by the University of Southern California, focuses on teenagers. And we'll be able to know real time if they're inactive, if they're active, and be able to intervene real time on real behavior, not wait until after the fact. Like 13-year-old Eric Carlos. I try to do exercise, but sometimes I have to study a lot, so I just stay indoors. And 15-year-old Amaret Castillo. Um, well, I eat a lot, but mostly junk food. I'm don't, I haven't been eating healthy. Um, now I'm starting to, you know, and it has changed a lot. I've noticed I'm more active. For several months, the teens streamed into this basement, taking turns being sedentary and active, as researchers worked out the bugs of the devices they call the NOMI network. So one of the interventions, the first interventions using NOMI is going to be, I give you or a child a set of these devices, he or she wears them when they're awake, and it, beep, it will beep them if they are inactive for more than two hours. If this sounds like Big Brother, the researchers at USC say, don't worry, it's voluntary. She's a teenager. You know, what do teenagers do when they get into the age group? You know, usually they'll, you know, if she's home, she'll do watch TV, um, be on the computer. And also consider this. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says the prevalence of obesity among 12 to 19 year olds in the United States has almost tripled since the 1970s, from just over 6% to more than 17%. So the question is, how do you get kids to be active and eat well? A second set of watchful eyes, they say, not just mom and dads, may help fight off the fats. John Mo, the Associated Press, Alhambra, California.